Hello everyone, so this is the summary of the poem Drummer Hodge by Thomas Hardy. So these are the important points. This poem was first published under the title The Dead Drummer in 1899 and later got included in the collection Poems in Past and Present in 1901. This poem is about the death of a British drummer Hodge during Second World War fought between British Army and two boy republics in Southern Africa from 1899 to 1902. This British soldier is buried in South Africa without any ceremony, coffin or grave and also in a foreign environment. Through this poem, the poet criticizes wars which result into the untimely deaths of the young soldiers. This poem is an allergy on the death of a British drummer. So this is the text of the poem. They throw in drummer Hodge to rest, uncoffin just as found. His landmark is a cobzic rest that breaks the belted round, and foreign constellations west each night above his mound. So when the poem opens, the speaker says that Boer soldiers find the dead body of British drummer Hodge and then they bury his body carelessly without any coffin or grave. So they bury him exactly as they find him. So this drummer doesn't have any tombstone or grave marker but only a small hill above a flat landscape. He lies unknown in the foreign land with unfamily stars and open sky. Young Hoj the drummer never knew, fresh from his Wessex home, the meaning of the broad karu, the bush, the dusty loam, and why a prose to nightly view strange stars amid the gloom. So here speaker says that Hoj was the military drummer who would beat drums to make announcements. He came straight from his home in Wessex, England. He didn't have any idea about the wide deserts of South Africa as he had never been there before. He didn't know anything about South African wilderness or the dusty soil of the land. He was ignorant about all such things. He didn't even understand the unfamiliar pattern of stars in the sky on African land. Yet portion of yet portion of that unknown plain will hodge forever be his homely northern breast and brain grow up a southern tree and strange eyed constellations reign his stars eternally. So in these lines uh, the speaker says that at present when uh, Hodge is dead, he has become part of this unfamiliar land. His body has merged into the soil of African land and has become the part of the fertilization and the growth of a tree. So he will always stay under these unfamiliar stars shining above him for forever. And here the poem ends.